The world is more connected than ever. The increasing mobility of people and things is the main feature of our global economy. Today, 90% of everything we own or use has traveled to us in a container ship through a vast network of ocean routes and ports. Shipping is now one of the safest forms of transportation. Every day, the global fleet carries billions of tons of cargo across millions of miles of oceans, without accidents or incidents. Playing an essential role in our economy, the shipping industry must tackle the side effects of its fast-growing activity, which might jeopardize the richness of our global maritime heritage. Welcome to the Port of Lisbon, one of the most ancient ports in Europe. Together with the Port of Stubal in the South Portuguese coastal line, they can receive any ship and cargo for international exchange. The Port of Lisbon receives about uh, 2,500 ships a year, handling over 11,400,000 tons of cargo a year. The Port of Lisbon and Stubal encompass an invaluable ocean natural heritage. The Portuguese coastline is rich in biodiversity and has been supporting a centuries-old way of life. Every industry around this delicate environment has a responsibility to preserve and create conditions to protect the surrounding ecoregions from any negative impact our operations might lead to. In the case of the maritime economy, the issue increases in complexity, with ships travelling around the world between ports, shipyards and docks. While ships keep moving, ports and maritime ecosystems remain in contact with discharged ballast waters, which is a major source of pollution carrying alien invasive species which spread and destroy stable ecosystems. Ballast water systems are essential for the safety operation of a vessel. The vessels have independent tanks where they store the water pumped from the sea. As ships arrive at the port to unload, they need to compensate the loss of cargo weight pumping in ocean water. When traveling from point A to point B to reload, the water is discharged at the port in a different environment. They also transfer entire aquatic species into each coast where they stop to load cargo. These are alien species within the ecoregion where the water is drained off and become invasive, causing irreversible damage in the local ecoregion. Today, only 1% of oceans and seas are formally protected while global shipping transfers 5 billion tonnes of ocean water each year. The authorities have promoted the discharge and the exchange of ballast waters in, in the open ocean, but clearly that's insufficient from the environmental and safety and logistical point of view. First, exchanging ballast water is an operation that usually occurs during loading and unloading uh, cargo, so mainly in port areas. And second, from a, an environmental point of view, discharging or exchanging ballast waters in, in open ocean can also transport alien invasive species to the coastal areas and so it can also bring environmental damage. As of 2017, the IMO put forward a ballast water management convention with directives towards universal treatment of ballast water where certified ballast water treatment mechanisms are preferred and will be the only recognized water management standard by 2024. The Blue Ports project arises to facilitate the implementation of the Ballast Water Convention. The project is testing and demonstrating technology, methodologies, economic feasibility and best practices, not only to enable efficient ballast water treatment in ports, but also to monitor the environmental risk associated to pollutants discharged in port areas. The only viable solution for the problem is to treat the ballast water before it's going to be discharged at the sea. EcoOil is going to test and demonstrate uh, innovative technology, InvaSafe. It's a technology designed and developed by Daman. This is an independent model, the only one that has been approved by EMO. Demonstration is being carried out by EcoOil in the port of Lisbon. Ports have the opportunity to enter the Atlantic Blue Port category by updating their services and platforms to facilitate the integration of water management systems within the value chain of the shipping industry. ECOIL is an environment operator in the port. Our major goal is to identify if there is a business case on this, on this project that can be incorporated in our portfolio service. Bentley Systems, uh, it's a global software development company 
uh, for advancing infrastructure that supports our economy and, and environment. The main role of Bentley Systems in this project is mostly to test and demonstrate some pioneer and state-of-the-art technologies that simulate discharges of contaminants and, and pollutants and ballast waters in coastal areas. This development is integrated in Action Seaport platform. Action Seaport is a mobile-friendly cloud-based technology that has been developed to support uh, port authorities and maritime authorities in terms of operations for navigation and also uh, to support environmental managers uh, to face uh, incidents like oil, chemical spills or ballast water discharges. The Port of Lisbon is committed to Blue Growth Policy and IMO regulations and aims contributing with its example for the further implementation of eco-friendly mechanisms. Being able to be part of this project allow us to be in the upfront of the implementation of the IMO Ballast Water Management Convention and to ensure that our biodiversity is preserved and not affected by shipping activities. In a world in constant change amid a global economy increasing its interactions, the Blue Ports project and its partners are committed to promote the implementation of concerted solutions with port authorities, technology and software development agencies to tackle the difficulties and find the faster lane for universal ballast water treatment within the maritime economy. Policy, technology and digital development work closely to maintain the planet in optimal conditions for a better future for its inhabitants in progress and growth. Join this fascinating journey to turn our maritime economy into a bulwark of a clean and diverse planet.